Hey everyone, so I was sent this product for free for my personal review. This is the Irresistible Me Black Diamond Flat Iron. And this is how it looks. Very, very pretty. It's like a matte black. And the plates are a rose gold color. Very pretty. And some of the main features. It comes with this box right here. Um, and the flat iron and the like a little instruction packet right here and I'm gonna flip to some of the features really quickly this is the first impressions as well because I have not used it yet and I'm actually gonna be I always use these flat irons to straighten my hair but I'm gonna actually try to curl my hair I've never used the flat iron to curl my hair so this is a one inch, so I think that'll be perfect for that. So this is gonna be an experiment as well. And I like how the plates around it as well as the flat iron. That way, you know, it'll make it easier to curl your hair. But this will be the first time that I try this, especially on camera. But anyway, some of the, the features that I see that I really like, um, it has an LED display. I love flat irons with LED displays. Auto shut off, it's a one inch floating plate which means that it once you put your hair in there it's not going to get trapped let me see if i can't the plate is going to move with your hair see how it moves it's not just going to clamp your hair and then that's how you get easy breakage it's going to move with your hair so that's great to have floating plates as a cool tip lightweight ionic generator hmm it says it heats up fast. The max temperature is 450. And then it shows the features, which I'm going to get the actual flat iron to show you the features right here. It has a 360 swivel cord. The up and down buttons are right here. Up, down, and the power button. Right there in the middle. And then this thing right here, when I looked at it, I was like, what in the world is that? It is a ionic booster and when I looked in the pamphlet I was like what is an ionic booster so then when I looked in there I'm flipping to it right now so that I can read you exactly what it says on here it says amplifies the effects of negative ion conditioning by increasing their release so it's supposed to increase the ion the ions that are getting on your hair okay so this is the plate right here and then once I turned it over if you see this plate right here, it looks a little different. It has like a little strip in the middle with some little dots in it. I was like, okay, what is that? So then I looked at the instruction manual and it is called a integrated far infrared heat strip. And it says that it sends a gentle heat directly into the hair follicle and out to the cuticle to protect, to protect strands over time. Okay, and one of the main features of this is that it is ionic. I've been seeing a lot of flat irons be ionic, which is supposed to make your hair less frizzy and lock in moisture and make it look smooth and sleek. Cool tip right here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it up now. This will be my first time seeing it being plugged in. undo the cord and like I said um, my hair is dirty I do not recommend in the instructions definitely say do not <laughs> use flat iron on dirty hair but my hair is dirty so I do not recommend doing that but I needed to go ahead and get this product review done so my hair it, when you see it on camera it is going to be like all kind of like dirty and stringy and you know how your hair gets when it's not clean so it's not going to be as full as, and then I'll try to curl it on camera as well. So, okay, I have it plugged in, and then I'm going to hit the power button. It lights up, and then it starts going up immediately. That It does heat up pretty fast. Oh, wow. It's going pretty fast. I love LED displays where I can know exactly what temperature it's on. Oh, this lights up on the inside. Let me turn the light off in the kitchen. <laughs> Hold on. 
Okay, so you see that, that little infrared strip? It lights up, that's pretty cool. And then the little ion booster is green. Okay, so the flat iron is on 360. Let me turn the light back on. The flat iron is on 360. I usually like to do between 380 and 400. So I'm gonna hit the up button and it went to 380 and then the iron catches up and then goes up to the temperature that you set. So I'm gonna start with 380 and I'm gonna go ahead and go in the bathroom and start seeing how it works and experiment with it. Okay, so now I'm in the bathroom and I'm gonna let you see how my hair looks. Like I told you before, it's dirty and it needs washing and it's all like stringy and stuff. But I'm gonna still do an experiment. That way the next time I wash my hair and it's clean, I can be good at curling my hair with a flat iron. But um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like before and after. So now I'm gonna turn around just where so you can see what it looks like right now. Okay, that's how my hair is looking right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just do a few rows. Like, okay, I'm going to part this. This is definitely an experiment. <laughs> I always use flat arms to straighten my hair, never to curl it. So this should be interesting. But this flat iron, it looks really, really nice. It looks really, really nice. Like, just the look of it is really pretty. Okay, so I got a row parted back here. And I'm going to split it into two pieces. Where I can do one side and then the other side. Okay, let's see. So, let me see. I think I'm going to clamp it and then turn it and pull. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to have to practice a lot more. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to definitely practice. Let's see. goodness <laughs> it's not the flat iron's fault that I don't know what I'm doing oh my goodness y'all I'm gonna have to practice um I think I will turn it up to 400 though so I did turn it up to 400 and it's counting up let me try this other side over here <laughs> Try this other side, but this is a perfect size for curling because it's it's kind of short and oh, I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better. That looks way better than this side, <laughs> but I would like the curl to go up a little higher. But like I said, this is totally an experiment because this is the first time I've ever done this before. I'm going to try this side one more time. I know I don't need to be doing all these passes, but it, we, we good, we good, we good. Okay, that was a little better. So this is something I definitely need to practice at. But I'm going to go ahead and do my entire head and then I'll come back to show you what it looks like at the end oh my goodness that was the prettiest one yet y'all see that that was the prettiest one yet that's so pretty this one wasn't bad neither that little curl so I'm getting better this side yeah <laughs> I'm gonna try it on this side
Okay, that side not acting the way I want it to. So this side, I think it's because I'm right-handed. This, I, what y'all, I don't know. If this is only curling at the bottom on this side because of how I'm holding it. Okay, I'm going to go to the next row right quick. I think the, the curls on the right, on my right side look better because I'm right-handed. Then when I get to the left, it feels awkward for me. So then the curls are just at the bottom. Okay. Let's get down. And get a little piece right here. So I've been flipping it. It's awkward for me to handle this. And then pull it out. Yeah, I'm going to have to definitely um, practice with this a lot more, you guys. Now, that didn't turn out tight like the other ones did. I don't know what I did wrong, though. What'd I do? Hmm. Let me try it again. Okay. I'll get this piece right here. Turn it around and pull it out. Now that one turned out pretty. <laughs> I don't know y'all. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to come back and show y'all the end. Okay, so I'm finished and I have not looked at the back yet. So we're going to see the back together. <laughs> see what I done did. <laughs> okay, so that's how they look without me being um I definitely didn't get that one good the ones in the middle right here look really good like the ones down the middle and then the ones on the side are like yeah you need to work on that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just um I'm gonna run my hands through my hair and separate the curls some and then we'll turn back around again and see what we got going because y'all know how I do I just run my hands through my hair and then we good to go we good to go ain't no separating them curl by curl that over here okay so I don't ran my head through we're gonna look and see what it look like again cheesy but for this <laughs> for this being my first time doing this like yes come on now come on now this is my first time like come on that's pretty that's pretty this side not that pretty but we still good we still good but that is y'all almost can't tell my hair dirty Ugh. Just look like some nice little, little princess summer day waves. So, I like using this. Like, I, I like all my goodies. But yeah, this... If I practice a little bit more, I'm sure like my curls will be so pretty. And then you probably want to put like some hairspray on this to get it to stay a little longer or whatever. But that is my review and demo of the Irresistible Me Black Diamond Flat Iron. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.